So, uh, we spent a lot of money on a lot of stuff going on with this album. So first off, uh, we had a manager, we had a uh, we had a lawyer, we had a uh, we had overseas publishing. We had this album actually came out in Korea. So I'm going to show you show you that. You can see the uh, the Korean down there. The uh, album actually came out in stores. You can see, ooh, it was seventeen nine nine. Is how much that thing cost. And uh, we spent a lot on the photography, taking a lot of pictures. This one was taken in Ashmont Station in Dorchester, part of the red line. You can see that we used the actual red line map kind of for the track list there, something we thought was, was uh, really cool. I believe that's Christian Anthony that did the uh, graphic design and a lot of the photographs. So uh, again, all this big team, radio promoter, we had uh, the distribution in stores, all these things going on. I'm going to show you here, and this is the postcard that we had sent out in anticipation of the album. Now, if you notice the date, put this together with the year this came out, 2001. So yeah, our album dropped on 9-11, or more truly, did not drop at all. Uh, again, we had put a lot of money into this, and then having this thing drop at it, you know, it was, it was crazy times. It was crazy times, and so we're all dealing with the repercussions of 9-11, but in the music industry, nothing was played for almost two months. Everything was just talking news about everything that was going on around it, as, as immediately as we were trying to figure out what was going on, but then later on in the repercussions of it, and just uh, the whole nation feeling just blown away that this could ever happen. And... By the time things started getting back to normal, it was the major label people who were getting taken care of. And us little indies kind of just got brushed under the rug. And it really did a number on the band. We lost a lot of money. Uh, people left the band. Uh, we were in a pretty bad place uh, coming from this album. And uh, it reminds me a lot of the, the feelings now where we were feeling so good about the upcoming touring and where we were. Uh, as a band and then just getting this huge blow that just takes you from this happy place to this just horrible miserable place about where things how things affected you and just how things are going on in the world so that was what the way it has to be uh, a lot of the stuff going on around there uh, has it held has it held up I don't know maybe you haven't heard it in a long time maybe you've never heard it ever uh, part of why we wanted to do this is we're going to get this up on streaming. Uh, and I'm not sure how long actually it will take. It should be within three weeks, maybe two. But we're going to let you know as soon as that is up. We'll blast it all over social media. And hopefully you will check it out now with a little bit of background about how it was made and the stories behind it. And let us know what you think about this music. Did it go too far? Kind of picture it back in its time. Can you hear the acapella in it? Can you hear the voices? Is it totally overblown? Is that cool? Is it not cool? So we'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, we might again have to wait till the album comes out, but if you have heard the album, feel free to comment now. And this has been episode two, the way it has to be. Take care, y'all.